Hello and good evening. My name is the Reverend Matthew Renyard. I'm a curate here serving the parish of Radipole and Malcolm Regis in Weymouth, a seaside town on the south of England. I pray that whoever you are or wherever you might be, that you are safe and well this evening. And I pray that this is just an opportunity and a time where we can just pause and reflect on our day and give praise and thanks and worship to an almighty God who loves us so very much. So let us pray. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste before the ending of the day. Creator of the world, we pray, that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath, our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm this evening takes verses from Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour unto the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both great and small. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it, you open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face they are troubled. When you take away their breath they die and return again to dust. When you send forth your spirit they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his work. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation, in its groaning and striving, may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture this evening is from Revelation 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of the lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. We just come to that part of our praise and worship tonight where we will just bring to God our prayers. I'll lead us and just give us some space to add our own. Um, and I pray that as you know, we now just come to that point in our service where I will lead us in some petitions of prayer. I pray that you can bring your own during this time. And when I say, Lord, hear us. Please, will you join me by saying, Lord, graciously hear us. So on this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he has redeemed. That we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us that all people may receive the good news of his victory. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That in the undying love of Christ we may be united with all those who have died in the faith of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And this evening we pray for our friends, our families, our neighbours, the street we live on, the town we are a part of. We pray for protection and safety for us all. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection Praise him in the eternal city, of which he is the light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
So let us join in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Well, I pray that this evening has been helpful to you. Thank you for joining me for another night prayer. I pray that whoever you are or wherever you might be, that you will sleep well tonight that you will know God's love and peace in your life. So take care and God bless.